welcome to another vlog. It's Sunday and we just decided to do an impromptu picnic at Gulf of Gorge, which is a really cool little campground in Hot Springs, but they also have like a day parking area where you can grill and have picnics and go play in the creek. So that's what we're gonna do today. Right now we are on the way to the grocery store to get some food to cook. I think we're gonna grill. We're gonna check and see if we have some charcoal and stuff. Um, and I wanna show you the really beautiful area around Gulf of Gorge. There's also a really nice uh, hiking trail that goes through the park kind of. I'll show you when we get there. It's really lovely. And the weather is really nice today. I think the high is only like 87 and that's gonna be at 4 p.m. Right now it's like, what is it? It doesn't say. 81 degrees so it's really nice out especially in the shade we are going into this walmart neighborhood market that was nearby to get some food for our picnic so i think i'm going to get one of these little pre-made salads they have a blt salad chicken and bacon with avocado ranch dressing um chef salad with chicken and ham with ranch that's what i'm going to get we don't have a lot of options because this is a Walmart neighborhood market and the selection is not great, but maybe we can get some steaks to grill. So, ribeyes? Uh, yeah, probably a fatty girl. Yeah. Less seasoning. These look good. Let's get those. Done. It doesn't have, okay, we can get the Montreal. It's no Chicago steak season. I've never tried that. It probably has sugar in it, but I mean, I know it does, but that's okay. It won't be enough to matter. Okay. We'll just get that. Uh, well, there's also savory steakhouse seasoning. I'll check and see if any of these don't have sugar, but I think most of them do. But it, like I said, it's not going to be enough. Famous Dave's Steak and Burger. This has sea salt, dried, I can't even read that. Dried garlic, sugar, spices, but it only has one gram of carbs. Well, so like... Black tan steak rub. I don't know. Black and tan, black salt, black pepper. Yeah, I'd rather get one of these like steakhouse okay. seasonings. Generic mainstream, fine. Yeah. And <laughs> uh, then there's also meat rub on oh, no, us barbecue. Let's get this one. All right, done. Savory steakhouse seasoning with a little bit of sugar, but not enough to matter. Okay, we're gonna grab some tongs because we did not come prepared. We just were driving around and like, let's have a picnic. So we're gonna get some tongs and we need anything else? Paper plates. Paper towels and paper plates? Yeah. Okay, so we got to grab a couple of steak knives. Yeah, that's fine. And some forks. <laughs> We're really unprepared. Now we just have to get paper plates and paper towels, and I think we're good. Okay, we're going to get some paper plates, and we got some paper towels, and now we just have to get something to drink. You get potato skins, cheddar, and bacon. That's obviously not for me. <laughs> so my boyfriend's getting some A1 steak sauce. Not me. I eat my steak without sauce. Plain. I can't believe I just found these. I've been looking for these forever. I knew they existed, but they have a triple shot Starbucks zero sugar energy drink. Yeah, I want one. They don't have the zero sugar ones anywhere. They're just here in this random Walmart market. And I'm gonna grab a couple of bottled waters for us. Unfortunately, they don't have any spring water. So I gotta get this Aquafina. Ugh. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, there's our cart, so we're gonna go check out and then head to the park. So you probably noticed that I bought low carb food for our picnic and that's because I am freaking out about all the carbs I've been eating and I'm trying to eat less again. I don't know what I'm doing with my diet, okay? I'm gonna make another video about that soon. Hey y'all, this is Cindy from the future. I just wanted to interject here and say, I did have a little mini freak out about how many carbs I was eating and I was worried I had gained weight. I did gain a little bit because I keep weighing myself every day. Um, but I am still trying to eat a more varied diet, although I did have a low carb day on this day because I was gonna drink alcohol. And I don't know, I'm still struggling with my eating and what I'm doing with my diet. But today is Monday and I am back to trying to count my calories and just eat a varied healthy diet. We'll see how that goes. But today I'm eating steak and salad and I made us omelets for breakfast. Um, I just have like omelet and turkey sausage and You're cheese. Just too late. Not omelet, eggs and turkey bacon and cheese made into an omelet. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyway, it's Sunday in Arkansas so you can't buy alcohol on Sunday. So we are going back to my apartment real quick to get our booze <laughs> for our picnic. Um, but don't worry, we went to the fair last night and I didn't drink at all so. This is my drink time for the weekend. 
This is my drinking for the weekend. Yeah, and we did, I guess so. I guess we didn't have to buy all the stuff that we bought. We bought like extra forks and tongs and steak seasoning that we didn't need to buy. We weren't planning on going back to my apartment until we realized it was Sunday. So now we're going back to my apartment. We're going to get the cooler too and like get some, I have some Coke Zeros and stuff in the fridge. So we're going to go do that and then we're headed to the park. We're back in my apartment and just taking the dogs for a little walk before we go. No, we are not going to take the dogs with us because we would have four dogs with us and it would be a lot to keep up with while we're trying to grill at the park. So we're just going to walk them around here, let them back in before we go. Also, before we go, I have to give Bella her medication. So, um, I don't know if you guys watched my last live stream, but I talked about how Bella got a little back injury. So, she is on like three different medications for that right now, and I have to give it to her three times a day. So, what I do is put it in peanut butter, and it works really well. She just eats it, no problem. So, just take some peanut butter and put her little pill in there and kind of smash it around. It's messy. It's messy. Okay, I got it. It's, her pill is in here and she's gonna eat it. Bell Bell? There you go, sugar. That's very effective if you need to give your dog a pill. She's got peanut butter on her nose. How cute. And then I just give Morty and the other dogs some peanut butter too. For being good pups. Here you go, Morty. I just let him lick it off my fingers because I'm gross. I don't mind. There you go, pumpkins. Oh, there you go. No, Morty, get back. More, more. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. We're about to leave. Oh, bye bye, babies. Bye bye. Bye bye, Bill Bell. I'm not going to let Bella jump on me, y'all, because of her back. So, got to try to keep her from jumping. But she's feeling much better since she's been on her medication. The vet said she had a narrowing in her spine. That was like all they could find. Um, but she's doing much better now. She's walking around. She's no longer in pain. Her medicine's helping her a lot. We just have to be careful and not let her jump. All right, you pups be good. We'll be back in a little while. Have fun with your friends. So here's the Gulf of Gorge campground. We're coming up on it. I guess this is all part of the Gulf of Gorge Park. It's really pretty and a neat little creek like runs right through it that we're gonna go down to and probably get in. Maybe you can see it right there. There's the creek. It looks a little low. So here's the sign. Campground and picnic area. So we're just going to the picnic area, which is right here in the front. It's really lovely and there's lots of shade and stuff. There's somebody sleeping in a hammock. I like to go so we can look at the water over here. One of these spots. So here's the place where we're gonna grill. Look at the beautiful trees over there, oh my gosh. And then here is our picnic table where we're gonna eat and prepare all of our stuff. So we're gonna start doing that now. And I'm gonna show you guys down here. You can probably even hear the water, maybe. Um, here's the little creek right in front of where we're gonna have our picnic. And we're probably going to walk down here. There are several places we can walk down and like get in the water. So we'll probably go down here in a little while after we eat. Okay, so we're seasoning the steaks with the steak seasoning that we bought. And we're going to let them sit for a while before we put them on the grill. We haven't even started the grill yet. All of our charcoal fell out in a trash bag. So that's why we have a giant trash bag by the grill. <laughs> And our picnic blanket is flying everywhere. It's getting kind of windy today. But here's some more views of the uh, campground. The campground is back there where you can have an RV or a tent. And then this is the little day picnic area. So beautiful here. We only had one big giant bottle of bourbon, so we just poured it into a water bottle and brought that with us. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm going to have a little shot and a little Coke Zero while we're waiting on our steak to sit for a while. And then maybe we'll go explore the grounds a little bit. I can show you guys some more of the beautiful views here. So we're taking a walk down this little, I don't know, this is not really a trail. Just this little area near the creek. The creek's kind of low and not really flowing much right here today. But it's still pretty. And oh, there's like a waterfall up here. I'm not exactly sure where you get in. You want to get in right here? Oh yeah, we can climb in. We can climb in right here. It's a little steep, but not too bad. I don't know. I don't know if I can get 
You got a rock, you can step right there on that, that rock, so right I there. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get back up though. I'll help you, don't worry. Alright, we might have to like go all the way down there back up. I know my purse is right here. Okay, I'm gonna try. Well, if you fall, we'll have it on video at least. Thanks. Just trying to look at the bright side. <laughs> no, I can get down here. It's easy. I know. The water's cold. So here we are in the creek. The water is so clear too. Where? There's a crawdad. Oh, there he is, there he is, I see him. Where'd he go? Do you guys see him? I don't know if you could see him or not. He's under that, he's under that leaf by that rock now. But there he is. Oh, there he goes. Okay, I know you can see that. They're the lobsters of the creek. There are crawdads everywhere out here. Can you see him? See his little claws? Yeah, they will pinch you too. You gotta be careful. Oh, there he is. Jeez, that is a big one. Okay, we're not gonna catch them. We're gonna leave them alone. He's like burrowing. Um, I just don't wanna get pinched by one. So we gotta be careful. And I don't wanna step on one either. Yeah, they are everywhere. Ooh, they're fast too. So there's the waterfall down there. I'm gonna walk down there and show you guys. And you can see like the RVs. That's where people are camping like days, weeks. People stay here a lot in the summer. But it's nearing the end of camping season. You can see there are even a couple of like yellow leaves, but the foliage hasn't started to turn yet. Once it does, fall is so beautiful in Arkansas. I can't wait to show you guys once all the leaves turn and stuff. Here's like some kind of little dam. I don't know. This looks like somebody built this. Yeah, it's definitely like a man-made little dam. But we're gonna walk over this and walk up to that waterfall. Ooh, it's a little deeper here. I'm wearing my new uh, Crocs that I bought the other day and they work really well in the creeks. Oh my gosh, it's really deep. It's like up to my calves. I didn't, we're not gonna swim in this or anything. We're just gonna walk down and this is really shallow. It's getting a little deep right here. Not too bad. But uh, I'm gonna walk over to the side because I don't wanna get my shorts wet. But here's the waterfall. So here's the waterfall up close. It's so pretty. There's like another little one right above it. And then look at the view with the blue sky and the trees behind it. This is why I love hot springs. There are just little places like this everywhere that you can go and enjoy. So we're walking back down the creek to where we came from to go back to our little picnic table and maybe we'll start our food now. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Y'all, this, this is our charcoal. We did have a proper bag, but now we've got like a white trash bag of charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get into the grill. It was my car charcoal. Okay, it was your car charcoal. <laughs> I, have, I, I usually have car charcoal too and it's never done that before. Was the battery acid. Oh, that's right. The battery acid that leaked out in your trunk and ate everything. <laughs> nice charcoal pyramid, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you did a good job. Now douse it in lighter fluid. We don't have lighters. We don't have a yeah. lighter? No. Oh my God. We gotta go check in the car for a lighter. Um, that was one thing we forgot. So hopefully there's one in my boyfriend's car somewhere. Success, I found a lighter. It's getting really windy and cloudy, so we're kind of concerned it might start to rain soon. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start cooking our steak now. Light it up. Nice shot of your elbow there. <laughs> All right, there's our fire. Wow, that's hot. Backing up. I'm backing up. <laughs> we're ready to put the steaks on the grill. 
We didn't quite, I think the coals are mostly ready. They weren't as ready as we thought they were, but hopefully we're gonna cook like six minutes on one side, five minutes on the other, and hope we get somewhere between medium rare and medium well. I just wanna show y'all this big ass pine tree. So this is how high it goes. It just keeps going and going and going and going. I think it's gotta be like a hundred years old for a pine, it's huge. Look how pretty the sky is. I wanna take a picture of that. All right, we're gonna flip these bad boys over. Uh, oh, that looks nice. Actually looks pretty good so far. Okay, so now we're gonna cook them for another five minutes and see how they look. This is a hickory tree, you guys, that we just spotted. And it has uh, nuts on it, but they're not ripe yet. I don't know if you can see them but right there in the center of the screen are some hickory nuts that are not quite ripe. Let me see, there they are. They look like a two nuts in a tree. Okay, time to take the steaks off the grill. Oh, that looks good. And we're gonna let them rest for a few minutes. They smell like really good. Got a little raw spot on it. Where? Right there. Uh, I'm good with that. All right, you're okay with it. So we're gonna cover these and let them rest for a few minutes before we eat them. So this table, it, the sun is starting to hit, so we are gonna move over to that shadier table now that we're done with the grill. Uh, nope. Medium, I'd say that's medium. Mm. Medium well? I don't know, it's close to medium, it looks good. So here's mine. I'm gonna see if mine's medium or medium well. It looks medium well, I don't know. I'm gonna cut into it. It is definitely medium well, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't mind a medium well steak. So the steak is really good. That steak seasoning is good. Um, I can taste a little bit of sweetness in it, but it's not bad. Success. All of my steak, y'all, was really fucking good. Especially for a Walmart steak. I think just cooking it on the charcoal made it better. It's still really beautiful out here. The sun keeps going behind the clouds and then coming out again, and there's a nice little breeze. It's like 87 degrees. Under the shade, it's really nice. So my boyfriend's gone to throw our trash away in the bear-proof trash cans that he, many humans can't even operate. <laughs> and we're just gonna chill here for a little bit and enjoy the scenery before we leave. We decided to sit on the, on the side of the creek bed. Let me show you. Like this little rock wall right here and we're sitting on the edge of it over the creek. And it, the weather is really nice right now. Look how pretty. We just came down this embankment and now we're going back in the water because it's super hot right now. And it's kind of sunny, so I'm just gonna, oh! It's really, really, really slippery right here. Okay. Yeah, I definitely should be walking on the rocks. That's a better idea. Well, I just wanted to get in because I'm hot. And I wanted to cool off in the creek. Yeah, the wind blowing off the water is, is cool. It's nice. So I'm just going to walk over here. And, ooh, ooh, ooh. My shoes are slippery. And we're gonna walk back here. Behind us, there is a little waterfall, a little babbling brook, and the sun just went by behind the clouds and there's a breeze again, so it's really nice now, especially with my feet in the water. We love creek walking. One time me and B walked all the way down this creek. It goes like two miles or something in that direction. We walked all the way down it. That was like 20 years ago though. I don't know what it's like now. So my phone only has like 6% battery left, so I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to film here. We're probably just gonna walk in the creek a little while and I don't know, hang out here for maybe an hour longer and then go back home. So uh, if my phone dies, I'll see you guys when we get back later. I don't have a charger or anything with me. So it's Monday now and I just wanted to record a little ending for this vlog because I did not really record one yesterday. My phone died when we were still at the park. We came home, we were really tired and we just ordered some food and kind of watched movies and fell asleep last night. Didn't do anything else too exciting after the creek walk. We did have a really good time. It's beautiful at Gulf of Gorge. The weather is starting to cool off and it's really nice in Hot Springs right now. So it's lovely to do these kind of outdoor activities. So thank you guys so much for watching and joining us for our little impromptu picnic and creek 
Creek Walk. I hope you enjoyed some of the beautiful views. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable vlogging around my boyfriend. I, I realize sometimes I still, when I when I go back and edit, I'm like, I'm still a little, a little stifled. I'm still a little stilted in my speech and stuff because it does still make me nervous vlogging around him. But I am getting more comfortable and um, I am showing more bits and pieces of him as I'm, t I'm sure you can tell. And maybe someday, We'll have a full proper reveal, hopefully soon. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to click the little join button down below if you want to become a channel member and join me for weekly members only live streams. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next vlog. I love you all. Bye.